Rev up your engines! Burak Muslu. Scotty, hope you're doing well. Yeah, you can see my voice is almost normal. I'm cold is going away. I want to buy an AP2 Honda S2000. It's a fun weekend car, and a car I can practice working on. It seems pretty mechanically simple. Any thoughts? Yes, those are fantastic cars. I don't know why they stopped making them, but those S2000s were really fun, and they're really fast. I mean, a stock one, it's not even turbocharged or anything, and it put out as much power as a Porsche. So they are excellent engines. Engines. And if you can get one that's in decent shape, you can learn how to work on it because it's not a super, super complex car, and they really are well-made engines. Like I said, Honda was originally a motorcycle company. They made really good engines, and that could be a fun car. Resale value is starting to go up in those things. It just is. But don't overpay. But they can be really fun cars to drive, and you can learn how to work on that. Cameron D says, Hi, Scotty. I got an 03 Pontiac Vibe. It has over 300,000 kilometers. The original ignition clause still works. Would you recommend replacing them as run of maintenance with a spark plug change? Well, I'd change the spark plugs, but I wouldn't worry about it. You know, that's basically a Toyota. And those are really good parts. And if it runs perfectly fine now, bah, I wouldn't even worry about it. Because if they do go bad, it will misfire. It'll trip codes for misfire. And it'll say, like, misfire cylinder number three. Now, if it gets to a point that you are getting misfires, change all the ignition costs, but buy quality ones. Just don't go on eBay and buy the cheapest ones made in China, because I've had customers do it, and in the past, I tried to save my own customers, and at the auto parts stores, I bought the cheaper Chinese ones, and it bit me in the rear end, and they broke down within a few months or a year, and then I had to replace them again. So you want to get quality ignition coils when you buy them. You don't want to just go out and buy the absolute cheapest ones you can get your hands on. That's a mistake. John Outrageous says, Scotty, I got a 2017 Toyota Tacoma. Every time I take it off-road, there's occasional grinding noise, which is coming from the rear differential. What's the deal? Okay, well, it's a pretty new vehicle. But you're taking it off-road, and of course, that's going to void all the warranties. I wouldn't tell anybody you're taking it off-road. I have a video called How to Find Noises in Your Car. Watch it. I have a device that has a bunch of different sensors on them. There's like five of them. And they're little broadcasting stations. You can put them all over the place. Then you wear headphones, plug it in to the receiving unit. And then you drive around and you can switch it to all the different ones. One, two, three, four, five. And you have one on a differential. If it makes a noise then, you know it is coming from the differential. And I wouldn't tell them you're taking it off-road. Take it and say, my diff differential is making noise and see if they'll do anything under warranty. But don't tell them you're taking it off-road. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, Remember to ring that bell!